Hi guys, Mark from Burton Bibles here. Back with a video today, we have had a delivery. And this is the long expected and awaited delivery from Church Bible Publishers in the States. So I have three Bibles. Now this is my second time at recording this. I went into too much depth on each of these. And uh, this is really just meant to be a quick, um, not really an unboxing, although we will be unboxing them, but um, a very quick overview, open, have a very quick chat you know, a couple of minutes each Bible. Um, the first one I did was 20 minutes, so I don't want to do that. And I will be looking at each of these uh, individually in more depth and detail and doing comparisons and, you know, uh, a bit more detailed thoughts on them. So uh, let's make a start because I've had three that I've brought over initially. Um, let's start with this one on the left. So uh, this is the sort of gift box that you can get as an option. And I think this is what I'll be having uh, all of the Bibles that I uh, sell will, will come with this sort of gift box. Um, so this is what you get. It's all very nicely presented. Usually this is uh, shrink-wrapped as well. And uh, This is the mid-size uh, Thompson chain ironed calfskin. So all three of these are from the corporate series, which is all bound in ironed calfskin. So <clears throat> this is the Thompson. So obviously you're aware that I love the Thompson, but I haven't been able to find a decent one, certainly not from Kirkbride anyway. So I have uh, been recommended the Church Bible Publishers one. So here it is. This iron calfskin is very nice. It doesn't have too much character in the way of grain, but it does have a very nice flexible uh, feel to it, very soft feel to it. And each of these Bibles is uh, lined with calfskin as well, I believe and they are edge lined as well so there's no vinyl paste downs here at all and each of these bibles has these nice decorative sort of uh, spine ribs um, which is again very nice and two black um, uh, ribbons so this is really nice i really like this and from what i have seen so far uh, this is the kirkbride text block so my reservations um, with regard to paper and print are still there, although I will say that this is a this seems to be a nicer um, Kirkbride text block than I saw on the one that I had from Kirkbride themselves. So it's still printed um, in America by by Kirkbride. I, I'm assuming they they print as well as bind. Um, but this is really good. I mean, the Old Testament sections there's not too much ghosting. Um, and in the New Testament sections, it, it gets a little, a little more uh, busy. You can see a little bit of show through and, and whatnot from the the red and black. It's not too bad though. This isn't as bad as the other one. And that waxy paper sheen it is still there, but not again, not quite as pronounced for some reason. Um, so we'll be taking a closer look at the Thompson very shortly, but I will be bringing more of these over and retelling them because I love the Thompson Chain Reference Bible and this is the best one that I've seen. Whether we stick with the standard size or whether we start doing the handy size and the large print size, I'm not sure. That will um, will be something that I decide over the coming uh, weeks and months perhaps. But overall, really like uh, this Thompson Chain Reference in King James Version from Church Bible Publishers. So let's move on and let's take a look at this one. This is the, uh, oh, I forgot, I couldn't, I was struggling to get these paper bands back on. Um, this is the Note Takers um, Bible in the corporate series, again with the ironed calf skin. Um, and this is one that I really liked the look of and I'm glad I brought it over because it has been, um, it has been re really good. Um, it's impressed me. It's impressed me a lot. So this is something that I've just not seen before. Um, it's a King James Version text and it's very large print. I would suggest that it's somewhere in the order of a, it's got to be at least a, a 10 or 11 point uh, font. Single column, but what I like about it is it's not too, it's not too wide, so I, I don't struggle to follow this. Chapter and verse layout, which is really nice. Text only, so there's no references, no running headers, there's no chapter breakdowns even, and it's also not a self-pronouncing text, so you can see that, um, you know, the names there are not um, per perforated with... Um, pronunciation marks and it's just really nice there's this really big two and a half inch margin um, for putting some headings in or jottings or notes so I was really really impressed with this Bible um, 
just got a great feel to it, really easy to read in the evening. So I have actually been using this for some readings, um, my daily readings. So it's a, it's just such a nice uh, a nice Bible. Um, so yeah, I was quite impressed with that. We'll be taking a, uh, a nice close look at that one <coughs> as well on the channel. And then here is the Church Bible Publishers Wide Margin Cameo, which is an edition that I'm so happy that they do because I really believe... I'm a strong follower, as you know, of the Cameo typeface from Cambridge, 1920s typeface, but doesn't seem to have deteriorated as much as the Concord in terms of its print consistencies and all the rest of it. Um, the Cameo seems to have stood the test of time a bit more, possibly because it's a little bit more bold, I don't know. So I've always loved it, and here it is, um, Church Bible Publishers are keeping it going. This one seems to have a little bit more grain, which I quite like, um, especially when you fold the cover. Really like that. Again, corporate series, so ironed calf skin, got the ribs, got the black uh, ribbons, which are actually quite nice for ribbons, and it's edge lined and with a, uh, a, a calf skin liner. And uh, it's the cameo block, so I'm well familiar with it. And it has this sort of fairly even margin about an inch around there and about half an inch on the inside and it's really nice really nice the paper and print my initial impressions are the paper and print are not quite as nice as a cambridge one but that's kind of to be expected and don't forget that this bible um it, it, you know it retails for a lot less than a a equivalent cambridge and an equivalent cambridge uh, in this kind of um uh, binding would be well over a hundred pounds. The goatskin version is about 140, 150 pounds, I believe. So we're not looking at that here. <clears throat> but more to the point, you can't get this Bible from Cambridge. Yes, you can get a cameo, but you can't get one with wide margins. So this is a really, really nice option. And I'm so glad that Church Bible publishers are offering it. Um, and from what I've seen, it, it's everything that I love about the Cameo in this really nice um, format. So really impressed with this edition too. We will be having a close look at that on the channel. Um, really excited to be bringing these Bibles to the UK market. So this these are Bibles that I'm not familiar with in terms of church Bible publishers anyway. It's a new publisher for me um, and I'm hoping that uh, there is an appetite and a and a desire for these uh, editions in the UK. So I'm hopefully going to be bringing more over. Um, definitely the Wide Margin Cameo and the Thompson and the Note Takers, I think. And I might look at the Schofield version that they do as well, because again, there doesn't seem to be a great um, edition of the Schofield Bible available in the UK at the moment. So I'll be taking a close look at them, and they'll be appearing on the website over the over the coming weeks. I just want to spend a little bit more time uh, with these, just getting to know them and, and being able to do a bit more detailed reviews for you guys before I list them. So I hope you found that interesting and exciting, as I have, and we will catch up on another video soon where we will be taking a close look at one of these three uh, great Bibles. So thanks, God bless, and see you soon. Bye.